everyone and welcome back to Melbourne Railway Videos. I'm here at Preston and we've got 2M departing. And 266M is at the rear. Alright, the reason why I'm here is I want to give you a bit of an impression of what a station looks like when Skyrail is being built over the top of it. Um, so, we're sort of right in the middle of construction. Um, the Blitz hasn't started yet, I think, but there's going to be quite long shutdowns. You can see that bridge structures on either side are partially formed. Um, so you've got the pylons up on the right and on the left. Um, they're not as, um, they don't extend as far, but the actual sp spans are in place quite clearly heading down this way. Um, I think the most interesting part is that they're building a new station literally right over the top of the old one. So the reason why this middle bit here is filled in is because that's where the island platform is going to go. Um, it's really clever the way they construct these stations, particularly when they've got a live line underneath still in operation. They've got all this work going on at the top. It's just incredibly innovative. They did it on the um, Caulfield to Dandenong stretch um, for the, the first section of Skyrail, but um, yeah, it's, it's interesting seeing it happening again over here. Obviously, other Skyrail stations have opened, but um, I don't think they've been constructed in this sort of manner where um, the station's directly over the top of the old line. Not, not that I can think of, but I think even the old Karam station it was built off to the side of the old Karam station, the Skyrail. If you look up the track there, that's where Skyrail's going to um, end this section of it. There are a lot more level crossings down the line. I can see what looks like a pedestrian crossing and then another one further up. Um, they're not going to be removed straight away, but um, they'll have to go eventually. The Mernda line would have to have among the most level crossings on all railway lines. Um, hasn't been touched as much as some of the others, like the Frankston line. So there's a lot of work still to be done. Um, I think they've promised to remove, it would be Keon Park crossing up there. That's part of the latest 10 promised to be removed, taking the total to 85. Um, but other than that, yeah, there's still a fair few to go on this line, which, which need attention. But this is a great start, for sure. You wouldn't know it at the moment, but the main, um, I don't know, attraction, if you can call it that, uh, behind Preston Station is that the market's just next door. Preston Market, it's got some um, really nice fresh food, um, also nice cafes and that sort of thing, little food vendors. Um, so that's why a lot of people use this station and it's, I think it's really going to enhance um, the experience of going to the market by um, using this brand new station. You can see some of the designs up there. It's going to look incredibly vibrant and reflect the, the colourful and multicultural nature of this area. So I'm really looking forward to these stations when they get constructed. The stations being Preston and Bell. I think they're going to be, you know, some of the best stations in Melbourne once they're done. Um, there have been complaints about a high-rise tower which is going to um, be built near Preston Market, but I think as long as it doesn't interrupt the market's operation, like as long as the market can remain there, I, I think that'll be fine. And I'm a big fan of of transit-oriented development. I think it's a great way of making the most of infrastructure. Um, so yeah, hopefully it doesn't affect the market, because the market's a, a big, important part of Melbourne, especially the northern suburbs. Got a bit of an interesting piece of graffiti. I think it says, I love Abraham, but I don't know. I wonder who put that in and what the context behind that is. Here's a poster describing the construction process. You 
you can see the evolution of the structures. Probably at stages seven and eight at the moment. So the project is a fair way along. I, I think it'll be finished by the middle of the year. I mean, it's already really well progressed. So yeah, I'll definitely come back here once it's all done. Yeah, if you have a look at that poster over there, it's got uh, stage three, which is a single track stage happening in mid 2022. So apparently the station's gonna open in late 2022, which is a bit later than I expected. But um, yeah, it's gonna be really interesting with the single track section going in. Um, they have to keep this line open because um, the network's incredibly reliant on the Mernda maintenance facility. Well, not, sorry, not the Mernda one, the Epping maintenance facility houses a lot of extrapolis trains. Uh, so it's just gonna be too important. They have to keep that open as long as they can. Um, which is a bit of a shame because I would have loved to have seen what would happen if we had, you know, extrapluses stabled over the network, like all over the network, like we saw when they were in Pakenham. And perhaps we'd even get some commenters running on perhaps the Belgrave line or something like that. But um, yeah, it's gonna, I might come here when it is a single track just because it'd be so unique to see it. Um, but yeah, the, the whole project is just really innovative the way that they're scheduling it and working around a lot of the issues faced. This reflects the point that I was just making. The murder line is, um, it just cannot be closed for that long. <laughs> it shows how incredibly over-reliant the network is on the maintenance facility. Um, and it, <laughs> it also shows that we need more line segregation and for that to be possible, we need more stabling in different areas. Got an extrapolis arriving. I apologize about all the noise, but that is the nature of filming in a construction site. It's all part of the experience. Looking through here, you can see one of the spans is just waiting in place. That's pretty interesting. So I guess I'll have to give this station a rating. It's a bit unfair to give it a rating when it's in this state. Um, but I think it's very interesting having, you know, a new station being constructed over the top. Not particularly nice to use, but certainly interesting. Um, otherwise, it's pretty well connected to the local area. I mean, you've got the market just next door. Um, bus services on this road over here, including a smart bus. So I think I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 in its current, yeah, actually nah, five out of 10 in its current state. But I think it's got the potential to, to go to a donator or a nine um, once it's done. The soon to be removed boom gates have activated. So we've got a train coming for a motor service.
uh, this train will be it for the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. 39M.